I know. There's a gap in the garage. What happened? Well, we might as well just go ahead and explain. So, uh, during my little scout around, uh, I kind of decided halfway through it that I want to do like a mod, uh, shuffle. So I actually have removed a couple trucks, actually not just a couple, several trucks, but, uh, out of what I removed, I found some new things. So we'll just go ahead and... Ugh, excuse me. Have a random burp slash hiccup for no dumb reason. Okay. So my editor will put on screen that during my running rounds, I found the engine that the uh, original twin steer for both uh, the Western Star and the International need to basically be their best. So we now have the best engine for the in-game Twin Steers. So they'll be useful for us when we go to Alaska. I also found uh, a couple trucks. One of them was a, a military truck that I know basically can't have any um, add-ons. It can be upgraded, but it can't really have alternate add-ons, which is kind of weird. But, uh, you know, we can still use it as a tiny cargo hauler. And that's pretty much it. So we have, if I go to global maps here, check in, we have all of Alaska zoned out. So we have Northport zoned out. Frick, I hate that because we're in Brack Liver that it's going to keep defaulting to Brack Liver. So, ah, Rountain Miver, as we can probably mispronounce it. I'm sure that'll happen at some point legitimately during the playthrough. But Mountain River, completely zoned out. Also noticed that there was a special truck waiting for us. I didn't pick it up just because, you know, it's part of a mission. So I figured all the mission trucks that they're going to give us, I'll just wait, do them during the, uh, the playthrough. And obviously White Valley. Uh, don't ask how I managed to get the ocean cleared up. I had to do some crazy shenanigans with other mods. That was a, a weird endeavor. I believe there's another truck over here. Yeah, there's a dairy longhorn that's just kind of down in the river. And eventually we'll go grab her. But since that is in White Valley, we basically will be waiting a long time to get her. Or I should say she will be waiting a long time for us to go get her. Yeah, she'll be fine though. Cold never bothered the girls. And of course, Pedro Bay, which is actually where I found, excuse me, the, uh, the down truck that basically can't really have any add-ons. So we have all the missions picked up. Some of the special missions, like this one, the, uh, the time trials, I was just going to do those off camera, but then... Uh, this one right here, specifically, the weather conditions, requires you to go through here. And this, uh, roadway that cuts across the pipeline is broken. So I can't do that. Not unless I want to do some jank nonsense and go through the trees here, which I don't really want to. So that'll just have to wait until later when I actually start working on Pedro Bay. So yeah, all the maps, or I sh yeah, all the maps in Alaska are uh, are open. I think what we should do, if I can close the maps, there you go. Obviously, we need to retain our girls so that way they can be shipped over. 
Although, for the most part, we're going to try and use the original twin steers for Western Star and International Pay Star. To make sure that they're all set and ready to go. Yeah. Alright. So where are they? Ah, these two, right here. Yeah, the 5600 twin steer and the 6900 twin steer. Ness are going to uh, attempt to do most of the work. We should probably upgrade them right now, just so that way we don't forget. And as I'm upgrading them, I should also mention the uh, the mod situation. So, I actually have a list of uh, of the mods that I removed. One of them is the Call of Boss. And I also got rid of Mr. Bus's wheel pack. We no longer have to deal with the train station nonsense. Uh, no offense. Which also means that all of the, uh, the train station's trucks, which would be the Harvester, the two Dreadnoughts, and the Kalib Bruxa, which we never got to use, and the Varngrad Vyatk, which uh, we also didn't get to use. It would have been nice to try them out, but uh, it's going to be a while before we get the originals. And at the same time, uh, I still kind of don't like the idea of uh, having to use a wheel pack. I know it. they do it because they want to save memory. And, you know, not have to add the wheels to each truck individually. Because that just adds more memory to each truck. Uh, but I remember making an argument earlier that it's like, I just pick and choose the trucks anyways. So it basically doesn't matter. I'd rather not buy the wheel pack. Not buy, but uh, use memory space for the wheel pack. For the... Uh, for the special wheels and then to turn around and be like yeah i'm just gonna go get one truck that is tied to this wheel pack and no other so at that point it's like ah nah i uh would much rather go ahead and find the very specific trucks that i want and get them with the wheels added into their truck pack you know, by themselves. So we also got rid of uh, the Bart's twin steers, unfortunately, because they also were kind of tied to the uh, the train station wheel pack. We also, unfortunately, got rid of Huey, Dewey, and Louie, along with Donald, because they were tied to the uh, the wheel pack. Let's teleport over to uh, Northport. And then finally, probably the saddest uh, moment of them all is we got rid of the Blue Hawk on Fire, aka the BHF Twin Steer. Now, I was thinking about keeping her because she's been through a lot. She's done a lot of missions for us. We basically stomped Michigan using her and her alone. However... Throughout the uh, the mod shuffling, I found some other very interesting, very big uh, twin steel girls. One of them is this one right here, the Dan 96400X. Uh, I can't remember the, the modder's name, unfortunately, but obviously all the modders will be... Uh, will be credited in the description. But, yeah. This thing, although it's not any more impressive compared to the original Dan, because it's twin steer, it caught my attention, and that was all that I needed. I just needed it, wanted it, gotta have it. And because it's not exactly the original Dan, I kind of want to buy it and use it. 
It's got some pretty good upgrades. Special stuff. Not too bad. I have not actually tried using this thing. It's got active soft suspension. Hiccup. Why well, you gotta be like that? Random convulsions. As I'm talking. We're trying to talk. Very strange looking tires. They're called burlap heavies. Tega tires. You know, we all know the infamous Tega King. The Tega tires are uh, one of the reasons why it's so busted. So it doesn't really have any broken tire compounds. So it's not going to be super OP, which is perfectly fine. Didn't really care for like aggressively OP trucks. Minus the BHF twin steer that we were using earlier. That thing was just fun. Ooh, custom add-ons. Tiny fuel carrier. Tiny service carrier. Can I do fuel carrier and service carrier? I'd kind of like to find that out. Cranes, cranes, more cranes, flatbeds. Oh, medium log extension. An Aramatsu made log frame extension. The extra frame length allows to safely secure medium logs instead of short ones. Well, I mean, okay. It's probably just the Aramatsu, uh, medium log rather than using like these kind of trash looking log carriers i really don't understand why they use that for the log carrier but okay Ooh, extended frame or maintenance frame i like it multi-purpose module i've seen that on a couple of trucks and this is the only one where it looks like it actually fits Ooh, kind of bad. Ooh. I like the, uh, the super tall sideboard bed. Like, this truck has already impressed me with being twin steer. Everything else is just a plus one to the plus one. That is times one to plus one. Divided by zero. Very interesting. Okay. But after getting rid of all those modded trucks, we have $2.5 million. I did not realize I spent that much freaking money on all those other modded trucks. That's ridiculous. Also, uh, we've returned the Z2 Tataran back into our ranks. Although I'm kind of not sure. Whoa. I don't want to use it. It's got the tank treads. I guess that can be kind of a replacement to the, using the collar boss. And then this thing, the Z2 T Force. Obviously, it's a twin steer, and it looked kind of interesting. I've seen some people use this truck, uh, the original variant, which is the uh, Tatra 815 claiming it to be like one of the best trucks in the game and a lot of like the russian or overseas because not all of them are russian and i can only say overseas as an american because i'm a dumb american but many of the overseas trucks are twin steer based not sure why they just are but uh this thing looks super impressive, and I want to try it. It's obviously got all the, the Z2 magic stuff, which is the broken engines. It's got a stock suspension. I wonder if it can be raised. We'll have to find out. Highway tires? Oh my gosh, 10 out of 10 tread grip. What the frick? That's a new thing. 
That's also scary. I don't know if I really want to do that. Well, we found the busted truck. And surprisingly, all the other tires are unimpressive. So we'd probably want to use the MSH ones. Because they're a 3.0 on mud. Which is decent. These things are super busted. 7.5 on mud. 4.0 on asphalt. And uh, I don't know what body is. That doesn't make any sense. Should be off-road? That just... That's weird. Winch setups. See all the add-ons. Ooh, it's got roof rack. Legit Tatra crane. Whoa. Huge fuel tank. Multi lift? What do you mean by that? Flatbed whose cargo area can be moved using a huge lift. Is it like the other one? The, uh, the Call of Boss setup? Which I still have those flatbeds. What is that? Huge radar device. That's insane. Equipped with repair tools and fuel to serve as a strategic base. If that can't cover the entire map, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm going to have to test it though. Blade? What? Blade for clearing rocks and wood chips scattered on the road. Also serves as an armor plate, reducing damage to the vehicle body. It looks like a snowplow. Oh, can that actually be dropped? It looks like it can be dropped. Oh, it can. It's got like its own arm underneath the frame of the truck. Bro, that's dope. What have I been doing with my life when I haven't had this very specific twin steer-esque truck doing the stuff for me? We'll have to, uh... We'll have to try her out later. Right now, we need to actually more or less get into... Handling Alaska. It's just slightly darker tint of uh, the original paint job. Brown? Oh, bubblegum. Really garbage bubblegum. Ooh. I like the charcoal red. Although most people would say charcoal black, but you know, if you burn the charcoal... It becomes red. So. Shut up. Oh. Very interesting color schemes. I kind of like the, uh, the red. The deep red. I might go with the green, possibly. Ah, we can have bobblehead, though. That is an extra plus one. If anything, that's a plus three. There's no such thing as plus two, because, you know, two doesn't exist. Wait, what? Uh, can we have bubble head in this thing? Yes, we can. We can actually have a hood ornament in the Dan? You're lying to me. Oh my gosh, we can actually put a hood ornament on her. Gonna look funky. Now, this thing is what's taking up most of the memory in my, uh, my mod space. Yeah. The Z2 Gigantic TX-MX. And I saw this and I was like, I have to try it. It looks like a Frankenstein uh, 770 cat. Or whatever the other cats are that are uh, in this game. It's just big. It's scary. It's got all the tread. And I absolutely want to try it. Like, maybe towards the end of Alaska, we'll use this for, like, the Mega Hall. There's only two tires. There's, uh, normal and ridiculous. Fantastic. I love it. 
I don't understand why it does winch name and then winch console name. What is the difference between these? Obviously, uh, I know that many of these mods are made for PC. So when you're using the mouse, you use the mouse to, uh, to connect your winch points. But obviously on console, you can only do uh, the joystick, which doesn't accurately grab onto what you want. So they have to readjust the crazy overpowered winch points that they give you. And uh, that's basically the solution for the modders is just to make a winch that is designed specifically for console only. So that way you can more or less kind of accurately attached to the winch point that you need. Whereas the other winch that they add into the, uh, the mod, that basically connects to like every winch point on the map. And then all you have to do is fine tune where you put your mouse to winch to that specific point. So we got a giant crane, custom crane. Very nice. Extra large flatbed. I, excuse me, flatbed that can be loaded into two rows. With four slots each. It's an eight slot cargo. My gosh, that's so pretty. You can move the cargo by shaking or pushing the car body from the function. That's weird. Why would I want to shake it? Shake a shaky? Whoa. Giant saddle. What would you even... What could actually attach to the saddle? Huge saddle that can be lifted with a dedicated extra large trailer. Oh, it's got a dedicated trailer. I have to go find it. I'd have to buy the truck first. Long log frame. Pretty. Uh, long, huge flatbed, which is different from the other flatbed. Has five slot cargo. General trailer attachment. Oh, tiny little ball hitch. So it doesn't start with that? Or it's not embedded into the truck? Weird. Colors. Ooh. So it can be rustic. Black. Black is always good. Gray, red, rustic. Mm, I don't know. Pink. All right. Kind of green. It's like moss green. Red. Tan. Darker tan. Sunburnt. Hmm. I guess you can say it's like a peach. Super bright yellow. Ah. Absolute green. I actually do kind of like that. Faded green. Army green. Oh, light blue. Ooh, I like that blue too. That dark Mac grayish blue and then more pink these have excellent colors and we can have cup this is the best truck ever it costs only a hundred K I gotta freaking buy all of these my gosh that's ridiculous so I think with the extra cash we can go ahead and probably buy the 714 WME just for the sake of owning it. I seriously just cannot fathom how much money I spent on all those other trucks. I mean, granted, a lot of that also includes their upgrades, but dang, $2.5 million. That's ridiculous. Uh, let's see. It starts out with a KZG. Well, I don't have the ability to get any of the KZGT engines. So it's between the 58T and the 64TX. And yes, I skipped the zeros and all that because my brain just doesn't believe zeros exist. As it technically shouldn't because it's zero. But, you know, that's math. Also, apparently, this engine's from Texas. 
Wait, that's not right. Uh, we'll start out with the 580T. High range. Uh, multi-purpose advanced special. Uh, that's going to require testing. Because I definitely want high range for speed. But if the advanced special can do that and more... I want to go with that. Let's see what the advanced special looks like. Oh. It's got high range. Okay, so... Let's see how fast it is. Not fast at all. <laughs> I uh, was going like 10 miles an hour. Also, uh, we should probably read the what do you call it oh yeah the welcome to alaska which i didn't read in the tutorial i kind of just skipped it all right we're gonna start with high range and if the truck just kind of struggles when it comes to high range because it doesn't want to go fast and or it just isn't fast in general then we'll move to the advanced special Well, I can't read that because it's like to the side of me. So I'm kind of like at an awkward angle. So it says, welcome to Alaska. Obviously, obviously my editor will show this when I'm reading. So that way it's not just us staring at the Dan, even though the Dan is a very pretty truck. But uh, she can't have all the spotlight. Now you know the basics of the game. It's up to you to scout, accept, uh, accept contracts, upgrade, or buy new vehicles and conquer the wilderness. Completing contracts in Alaska might be tougher because of the weather conditions. No sh Sherlock. I kind of figured it would be tougher because there's ice. Anyways. If you want to be more prepared, you need to shut your mouth. What? You're free to come back to Michigan and explore Alaska later. Don't forget to scout uncharted areas, discover watchtowers, and run contracts from the touch button uh, map menu. There we go. Now we can just close that out. Man, I've been... We've been going for like 30 minutes just showcasing, you know, the mod shuffle that I've done. Uh, do you want active soft or active that can kind of deal with hauling? I'm kind of in the idea that this thing should have a stiffer suspension. So we'll go with the, uh, well, unless, hmm. Allows for main control over the road clearance. Surprisingly, the active soft is taller. I kind of want that, although... Having it soft means that if we add more weight, it'll just bog it down. So it basically won't matter. Nah, I'm okay with active soft. So when it comes to the wheels, so we're using these, the TM2s. Uh, Might be okay to keep those. Although I do kind of like the MHS 2s. Yeah, I want to go with the MHS 2s. Those look much nicer. Uh, autonomous heavy, I don't think we'll need that. But it's always good to have as a backup. Spare wheel, do we need a spare wheel? Probably not. Frame add-ons, I mean, if we can add the spare wheel with some of the frame add-ons, we're good. Okay, so I cannot have the, uh, the small fuel carrier with the service tank. 
just kind of whatever I want or need. Ooh, I can have the spare wheel with the long sideboard, which is nice. So yeah, we can just keep the spare wheel. That's a little skeptical. It's clipping, but that is also a uh, a mod that is not akin to the truck. So that's just kind of how it is. All right. So we have a good selection of, uh, of add-ons we can put on there. And basically nothing other than the service tanks will get rid of the spare tire. Dog! Oh my gosh, this is the best mod ever! Little doggy. Unfortunately, it's not a husky, but, you know. We'll just, uh... We'll just pretend that it is. And, uh, anybody who argues that can just suck a fat one. Uh, let's see, truck repair supplies on the roof. I mean, I guess we could do that. Kind of like the factory beacons more. Uh, I really don't know. I think I'd rather just not go with the uh, supplies. I think we'll just go ahead and leave all that as is. Stock fenders. Can I remove those? I can. We're going to keep them for now. Just because I like the uh, the aesthetic look that it's got. Oh, heck yeah, I want that bumper. The fog lighter? It's really nice. Wait, what? Oh, tiny box. Tiny box of repair kit? Heck yeah. <laughs> tiny box is always welcome. Not sure why. It just is. Muzzle. I can't have double muzzle, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go with the MHS rims. Is there anything special that we can make her? Ooh, I like the blue. That looks pretty. Yeah, I like the the uh, the dark blue. And obviously we gotta have cup. Not sure about the hood ornament, but we'll go ahead and go wyvern. Officialized. All right. I has to know now what are the uh, limits of these other trucks and how crazy can we make it? So stage three, it kind of seems like it's like overpowered, even more overpowered, and then this one is just dummy broken. So. The stage two will do a lot of fuel consumption versus the stage uh, three will not. I'm going to stick with the stage two. And if it becomes a problem when it comes to fuel, then uh, we'll change it out. I can't. Oh, I need to find those. I can't use the fine tune on the multipurpose, so I have to use the advanced special. Strange. Oh, I want to test. Does it have active suspension? It does not. So it is a low rider. Hmm. I'm going to have to get 22 inch rims. Although considering how big these uh, tires are, I'm probably going to need like 40 inch rims. Donkify it. So we got the crazy cracked out C2 tires, which I'm... Kind of not sure if I really want to use at the moment. Yeah, I want to go with the MSH1s. 54 inches. Those are nice. And 
Not really interested in getting them any chain tires. That's kind of just going to be left for the uh, the other twin steers. Twin motor. We'll do the advanced heavy. Engageable. Snorkels. Yeah, you're definitely going to need that. Front facing. I'll take that. Looks nice. Frame add-ons. Uh, I think I'll go with the uh, the trunk repairs. That won't be too bad. I kind of want to test that multi lift. There's not much else that I can test either. There's a uh, two slot cargo platform. Can I also have? Saddles with that? I can. Very interesting. Hmm. I'll have to come back to that. I do want to try the multi-lift, though. I want to see if I can actually move it. Frick, all the wrong buttons. Operate multi-lift. Whoa. That's actually kind of weird. Oh. I'm not sure what to think about that. Or how I would use it. Also, it has no sound, but... Yeah, whatever. That's very interesting. Okay. Uh... I don't know if I need the scraper at the moment. We'll just kind of leave that as is. Ah. Body cage. Love it. Uh, fenders. Yeah, might, might as well do that for uh, matching purposes. Twin horns, external horns. Cabin armor. I'm gonna keep that. Looks nice. Funnel? What? Oh. I like both of them. I'm gonna go with the funnel, though. And then for this one, red. Cup. To officialize. Ready. The big truck. Uh, stage two, as always. Advanced special. Active. Um, we'll keep with the stock tires. <laughs> Giga threes is what they call them. Advanced heavy, nice. Uh, keep the round flat cap, whatever it was. Oh, yeah, I want to see the, uh, the saddle. So we'll have to go out and check that. I kind of want to keep the black. Let's go with the black. Cup. To officialize. Gotta go find the trailer store now. Ooh, look at that. Fancy turning. It's not time. Don't mind me, monsters. I'm just checking to see. Well, that's a little unlegit. I don't have the ball hitch, but I can still attach the trailer. Oh my gosh. The giant trailer is insane. It's 11 slot cargo. 20,000 dollar. Well, is there any others? Is that the only one? I mean, whoa. Huge trailer with space shuttle. You can use a huge trailer with a space shuttle, repair parts, and fuel mount on the shuttle. Load five. Wait, does it also have cargo? Hold up. Open wings. Oh my gosh, it's freaking amazing! 
I love this. This was well worth getting rid of the collar boss. Because as cool as the collar boss was, there were some flaws. But I mean, we just got a bigger batter truck at that point. That was sick. Oh, there's so much that I want to do with that. That is just the coolest thing ever. All right. Now, finally, so we can actually, you know, get around to doing some missions. We're going to buy our biggest sister. I'll think about buying the, uh, the Tataran for, like, the next map, which would be Tamir. And having it explore all the places so 714 w uh, me oh my gosh the biggest sister with the most powerful engine all the upgrades give me all the upgrades we're gonna do active uh we'll keep the damage no not active uh, we want raised active is for the other one gearbox high range Tires. Give us the biggest you got. At 79 inches. There we go. Nine to ones. Oh my gosh. They're scary massive. That is probably just the most ridiculous thing ever. I gotta buy it. Because it's ridiculous. That is the only reason why I buy it. Battery powered, absolutely gotta have that. If this thing tips over, we have problems. We don't need snorkels, there's no lake, river, ocean deep enough to drown this truck. It is physically impossible. Fuel tanks. Cause you know, we're gonna need it. Holy frick. Add-ons on this thing are huge. So many things. Oh, this girl's gonna go crazy. Saddle high and saddle low. That, what actually could attach to that other than it's like custom trailers? I'm gonna have to find out. All right, we'll just leave the, uh, the frame rail blank for now. Fenders. Fenders wide. Clean exhaust. Yes, please. Uh. Hmm. Wide fenders? Sure. Stock? I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. Yeah, we don't need the flasher bar for this girl. We will do the, uh, the factory beacons, though. Well, we gotta make sure to turn up the bacon. Or we could do the, uh, the beacons and fog guys. Yeah, let's do that instead. Fantastic. Rear. Rear fenders. Oh my gosh, extendos. So we got tiny, medium, and large. Large. Heavy duty bumper. Nah, I kind of like the truck without the, uh, the special bumper. Cab protector, wide load. <laughs> That's a bit of an understatement. Considering how big this friggin' thing is. Uh. Yeah, no, we'll just leave it as is. I can go with the uh, second rims. Ooh. Uh, now we can actually have pink. She's going to be fabulous. And then cup for superiority. Oh, and also, uh, just in case, we need RNG bus Christmas to make sure that 
a high roller dice keep us going strong oh my gosh it's it's bigger than the gigantic girl what is wrong with you we're gonna have problems when traversing the land with this big girl but you know what worth it all right store all the trucks we can uh, come back to them later there's the uh, ank the military truck that i was talking about earlier we'll start that one and the uh, the royal bm 17 that we found earlier let's grab the international and of course the western star twins you these will be the girls to do the jab is there any other girl that's going to do the jab i guess we could probably have wolf since she's got chain tires in comparison to everything else we also have the white western so many things all right we spent freaking 47 minutes just dinking around checking out the trucks because i just had to uh do a mod shuffle so we need to do bridge repair is there anything else that we need to do i know that there's a rock slide thing we also need to kind of work on some of the pipeline Rockfall, Stonefall. There's a lot of paths that need to be fixed. But mostly this pipeline. Is that a main objective? Base research? Nope. Not doing that. Town supplies? Nope. Nope. Not mountain maze. None of those. Okay, so none of those do the pipeline stuff. Pedro Bay, nope. Oh, here we go. Pipeline repair. That's in Pedro Bay. Ah, there we go. That's the one I need most repaired. So we'll accept that contract. And also this middle bridge. Where is that? Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. So we'll work on the main pipeline first. And then we'll work on this middle bridge. And then, of course... If we magically have time after doing all that dumb stuff, we'll try something else. Or we'll, uh, we'll work on another thing. Maybe the rock slide. So, pipeline construction. Whoop. I hit a button. And, uh, that's never a good thing. Wait, I have to hit buttons all the time, though. I need just one metal beam to work on the pipeline. I can get it from the service hub? Okay. Uh, do we want to go ahead and use the same voice? No, nah, I don't want to use the same voice. Or, uh, for Alaska. Kind of want to find out if I can swap it out every now and again. I think I'll just use my regular voice for Alaska. And then we'll do something else for Tamir. We got an urgent contract for you. Local fuel company is building a pipeline. And they just hired us as a subcontractor. Well, good for you. Give me my monies. Deliver everything they need fast. And you're not getting paid. Shut up. I need two service spare parts. That's also from the service hub. So one metal beam. Also, I just realized the uh, metal beam is not at the service hub. Because that's the, uh, the other objective. That metal beam is over here in the factory. Are there any trailers out and about that can help us? So, sideboard trailer, nothing. Fuel carrier trailer, obviously nothing. Small scout. That has something, but it's not enough. And another flatbed. Okay, so there's no trailer out and about that has metal beams. So in order for us to get the metal beams, we literally have to cut across to the factory and then double back for the bridge. 
great i love having to double back it's so much fun actually no that's basically like 90 percent of this game is double backing so we'll go pick up yeah the service spare parts that's two one slot cargoes so basically we won't really need the western star for this we'll go with the pay star double check to make sure that you got all your stuff balanced um high range screw your balance we got high range gearbox now fantastic don't need snorkel although i do kind of like the uh, the tiny intake we'll add that engageable yada yada everything else is good everything else is good she does not have a hood ornament though didn't notice that till just now there we go more officialized now no it's dark out the monsters okay took a short nap <laughs> that's uh weird that's the in-game truck too that's actually the base game truck that well not really base game it's a dlc truck but still it's the truck the developers put in the game and it has that dinky little horn ow frick you rocks don't ruin my chain tires i need them the road is icy. We got snow everywhere. Yeah. Gotta do kind of a three point turn here. Didn't really want to back out. Whoop. Yeah, it's good to finally be able to use the original twin steer. I don't know why, it just is. It feels nice. Granted, the, uh, the modded twin steers were fun. But something about them was just bugging me. And it's not because of the reason of having to use the, uh, the tire pack from the train station. Ow. I just they were bugging me. Ow, oh, frack. I hit the guardrail. I'm still gonna blame the rocks for that one. Rocks are the devil. They just gotta deal with it. Got high range. All wheel drive. There we go. Just cut through that tiny bit of mud, no big deal. Okay. There you go. Not too shabby. You're as fast as an avalanche. I don't think that's a good compliment, but okay. I hope you won't get caught in a real one, though. That would suck. Bruh. Whatever, man. Alright, so we need to go... Basically this way. What the heck? Oh, my, uh... My line... Apparent well, obviously it doesn't, like, conform to... The elevation and the trees and whatnot but it's just like it's being overlaid by all the brush that's around here so i basically can't see it so we're gonna go this way to the fuel station that's gonna be super thick mud unfortunately we'll hit up the fuel station cut through here go up here 
around that. And make our way to that. And then we can probably try to cut through this area. I think it might be a little bit narrow and a little bit steep. But I want to try it. Yeah, that should be uh, good enough. Also, there's a trailer here. Standard flatbed. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Let's back it up. Diff lock. Just that way we don't spin our tires as we're trying to get out of here. Nope. Need to make a five point turn. Let's go. High range. For speed. We gotta go pick up that metal. All wheel drive. Although I probably should go ahead and skip since we're just kind of making our way to the area. Ow! And I didn't get far in the skip and I blew a tire. Uh, can the service hub actually... Ow. Prepare me. I didn't pass it, did I? No, I didn't. I'm gonna... Go ahead and make my way to the service hub. And hopefully be able to fix my tire. Whoop. Ah, perfect. Fully repaired. She may not be the best truck in the game, but she definitely drives extremely well. Whoa. That is a solid hauler. Okay. Large pipe. I don't need that. I do need to uh, open up the cart for no reason. Get the metal beam. And then close that curtain. Fantastic. Whoop. Left it in reverse. Alright. Frick, I know it's snow and I know it's white, but my gosh, is it blinding? It hurts my retinas. All right, bridge repair. Local authorities need a driver. They've got a metal bridge that needs some serious renovations. You'll need to haul the necessary supplies out there so work can begin. Hey, looks good. I mean, not really. It's only 1,650 bucks. Granted, that is literally just moving metal from one location to the other. That's like boring work job. But still, I mean, considering that a lot of the upgrades are like 5,000, 6,000, 8,000. That's not like the mods. The mods can be expensive in their own right, but like in-game stuff can be, you know, up to $8,000 per upgrade. And then of course that's not including the trucks themselves. So, uh, how dare you say that the pay is good when it's actually garbage? Wait, okay. Yeah, stop sign. Screw your stop sign. I don't need to look both ways. I don't need to stop for nothing. I break for nobody. Not even the rocks. Although I never break for the rocks anyways. High range. All wheel drive.
Man, this freaking box is super big on this truck. I almost can't even tell that I'm driving a vehicle. It just looks like a box. All right, let's cut through the uh, the windy narrow passage because reasons. Come on, girl. You got this. It's... Yeah. You're just a little over the, uh... The regulation standards for... Handling this roadway. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I tried to go into high range and didn't work. Because of course I would. Uh-oh. I need to turn. Like... Now. There we go. Wreck. Who put these trees here? Don't they know I have things to do with my truck? Like, drive real fast in the mud and stomp over the rocks to prove my dominance? Don't be putting trees in my way. My tire's stuck. Frick you rat. Why you gotta be like this? Stop touching my stilettos. That's very rude and inappropriate of you. Whoa. And I just showed that rock who's boss. Oh, this is sketchy. Uh... Okay, never mind. I thought that was a little bit more slanted than it looked. There we go. Finally kicked it into high range. Alright, here's your stuff. Where'd you get the wood? I mean, granted, there's a bunch of trees around here, but still, where'd you get the wood? People underestimate the value of a good bridge. Not me. Not you. What? I don't understand that statement, but okay. All right. Well, that only took us like, what, 10, 15 minutes to do? So, we're definitely going to go do some other things. So, stone fall over there requires a metal beam. Actually, why would I need to open these up anyways? This is like narrow passage that only a scout would really need to go through. Strange. Yeah, we'll do it anyways. Because, you know, a task's a task. And at that point, money's money. So, stone fall, rocks fall. What, uh, what does the rock fall need? Rocks fall. That requires two wooden planks from the log station. So, one metal beam... Two wooden planks. And what about the other one? The rock obstacle. That also needs a metal beam. So we need two metal beams, two wooden planks. So we need six slots of cargo. Alright. 
there is a trailer store nearby. We could grab that. Or, well, no, I was going to say we could grab uh, the other twin steer, but then I realized the original twin steer is not going to have uh, trailer towing capabilities. Sad. So instead, we'll just take the international pay star. Actually, we do need to have reverse a little. There we go. Ow, frick you rocks. Uh, it's snowing, so turn the lights on? I guess that's technically the same as it raining. But as ice particles instead of, you know, actual water droplets. Whoop. And even with chain tires, I still slid. I was just going too fast, I guess. Not sure if, uh... Backing it up into the trailer store is a smart idea. I don't know if I'll have room for what I need. So I need five... No, six slot cargo. Which means we already have three, so I need either three or four slot cargo bed. Freaky trademark copyrighted, not sponsored. I hear you in the background. I'm trying to do stuff. How freaking dare you interrupt me doing stuff? Uh. There's a two slot. More two slots. Wait, don't- isn't there, like, an AGL three-slot trailer that I can use? I need to check all of these, unfortunately. I thought there was an AGL trailer, uh, that I could use that... Although is a two-slot trailer, by its original design, is allowed to carry three-slot cargo. And I need to find it, because... If I can use that, I can avoid... Using too much, uh... Ah, right, here we go. Flatbed trailer packed with repair fuel supplies and, uh, three cargo capacity. Part of the AGL trailer add-on. Perfect. It's only 38 bucks. I'll take that. Also, I do kind of need to fuel up, so... Refuel. From the trailer to the truck. And, uh, frick you, copyright... I'm out of here. I got things to do. Cargo to find. Well, not really find, but... Oh, wait, you know what? This isn't gonna work. Now that I just realized it. Well, it'll work if I get the two metal beams first. And then... Grab... The logs. But the metal beams are over there. Uh... No, we can make this work. So we, we just need to cut through here to the log station. And then we'll refuel. We'll make this work once we get there. So just got to do another tiny bit of skipping. All right, we're cutting through the log station. We're going at speed. Power. Yeah. There we go. So, cargo management. So, what I'm going to do... Is first off, turn up the bacon. So I can open the, uh, curtain. So, the idea that I have is I'm going to load the truck then load the trailer and then because uh i hate the workers that decided to load my truck inappropriately i'm going to remove the cargo there we go perfect so now we have all the wood in the back 
Close the curtain. Now we gotta get our way over to the uh, fuel station. That does not look good at all to cut through, but I'm gonna have to. Yeah, dang it. So yeah, we should be able to load the two metal beams. One into the back of the truck and the other one onto the trailer. There we go. We're gonna do a, a drive-by on the gas station. Thank you. Now we gotta head over to get the metal beams. This trail is gonna get annoying real fast. Bruh. And that, for that exact reason, because for whatever reason the, uh, the ice on the edge of the rocks there has a little bit wider hitbox than you expect. So you can end up clipping that. And that'll slow you down a lot, if not stop you entirely. Kind of sucks. But it's like the main path to go in transport any kind of cargo. At least for me it is. I always find myself going through that specific area. It's also the fastest way to the gas station. Which is essential for driving a truck. If no one noticed by now. Ow! Okay, I get it, game. That, that was a terrible joke. You didn't have to make me slam into the guardrail for that. Uh, we still have our tires, so we're good. Uh, we're gonna have to do a jank U-turn here. Hmm. I'm finding that this girl does not have a good turning radius. Which kind of sucks. But okay. Just gonna have to deal with it. Hey, wait a minute. How did... Excuse me, what? The plank that was supposed to be in the rear of the truck moved to the front. I'm pretty sure I deleted that. Um, Editor's gonna have to rewind and go back to that. Flashback. End of flashback. To confirm it because I'm absolutely certain that I deleted the two wooden planks that were in the front of the truck or closer to the cab, I should say, because I wanted to put the metal beam closer to the cab. So I don't know how it shifted. Okay. Oh, we got the metal beam and metal beam. All right, close the curtain. That is legit black magic right there. Like, what the heck happened? Who did that and why? I did not ask for my cargo to be shifted. Oh, I should also probably uh, check the mission statements. So Stonefall is the one that we're going to and then we're gonna do Rocksfall. Don't fall. All the way up here. We're having a session of rock slides. 
Another one has stirred things up and needs dealing with right away. Can you roll up your sleeves and lend a paw getting it cleared up? I mean, I guess. We'll also read the Rockfall statement. The local authorities are looking for folks willing to volunteer to help with a nasty rock slide. The job is well paid. The request is urgent, so get to it. No! I'll get there when I get there. And right now I got things to do when it comes to a different rock slide. Big go is a chugging along. Now I will say though, uh, when it comes to this map, because it's all snow and it's blinding white. Oh frick! Uh, I'm gonna have to back out of here, and I don't want to do that. I need to find a way to alter this dolly here. This, uh, this trailer. So that way it's ready for transport in a different direction. There we go. Detach. We'll come back to it later. But yeah, uh... When it comes to this map, this region, because it's all blinding white, I think I'll be okay to just let the nighttime cycle through. Because it'll be actually easier to see with all the snow around. Uh. Wait, what? Oh, do I have to go up further? Do not tell me that this thing is on the other side of the rock slide. There it is, I can hold here. Cargo management. Yeah, frick you, I was not gonna go over the rock slide or around. That's everything we need to get this mess cleaned up. Thanks again. Here's what you're owed. Yeah, you owe me more. Right. So, uh, ah, oh, the pathway is cleared. Nice. So yeah, I'm probably gonna keep the the night cycle going. Whoop! My uh, diff lock did not like me going down that mountain at the insane speeds that I was traversing it. Give me rocks, you're in my way. Attach trailer, there we go. And now we need to deal with rocks fall. Start that. We're already at half a tank of gas. I mean, we can just Pull it from the uh, the ATL trailer, since apparently it's got like 300. Hmm, excuse me, it's got 300 gallons of fuel. That's pretty busted, but it is acceptable because it's got off-road tires on the trailer. And I think the trailer is also a little lighter, which basically means I don't have to worry about it being a big pain to chug around in the mud. Like all the other frickin' trailers that the base game has. Which are using garbage standard highway tires as their, uh, well, as their tires. 
which uh, don't do well. They don't play fair. There's the wood. We kind of handle that without volunteers like you. Here's your well-earned reward. Thank you. That was about the same that I got from the, uh, the other rock side. Just a meager 1300. Now I gotta go and deal with the pipeline. No. Yes? Maybe. Most definitely not. What was the other one? Rock obstacle. There it is. Star tracking. Looks like we got another rock slide on our paws. Time for you to suit up and save the day, buddy. Hey! I may be furry, but I ain't your buddy. I only have one buddy, and that's Rusty Buddy. And unfortunately, that series has ended since the time of this recording. Sad. What? Shipment of cargo needs delivering to the side of the rock slide to help with cleanup. You got it. Alright, we're gonna have to side swipe the, uh... What do you call it? The gas station. Because I don't really want to use the fuel that's in the trailer until it's an absolute emergency that we're going to be having problems. But I don't think we're too far away from the gas station to warrant that kind of a panic. We are struggling to get through some of the mud here, though. That's 100% the chain tires problem. There we go. High range! Uh, I don't think I can high range with the, uh, the trailer. Pretty sure the trailer dug into the the mud. That is a uh, quite the shame. I am disappointed in the trailer not wanting to to do the fun things of speeding. Frick you, trailer! Let me have fun speeding. I want to do the things that the game doesn't want me to do. It's like kind of snowing, but not actually snowing, and it's getting dark. Yeah, but we don't need to worry about the monsters in Alaska. There are none. Yeah, look at that. It's nighttime and we can see clearly. It's beautiful. I don't need headlights. We just need bacon. Wait, what? Oh well. Ah, oh, frick. Come on, trailer. We gotta go. I know it's you that's holding us back. Stop holding my big girl back from being able to speed. Look at her bouncing. She's excited to go fast. Whoa. Kinda went sideways there for some odd reason. Like we shimmied off to the right. We didn't need to do that. Oh, it got super dark.
Yeah, good thing we have street lamps. In like one random location. That doesn't provide any actual light or visibility of the terrain around us. Yeah. We can always thank the government to not do their job. We requested street lamps. They provided one street lamp. They saw the plural in our words and were like, nah, it's got to be singular. We can only afford so much. Ah, oh, frick. Getting kind of stuck here. We tore up the road a little bit. Which means it's not cooperating. Frick, we have such bright lights. We can see everything in front of us. Almost got it. Come on. High range. There we go. Fifty five miles an hour. Screw your garbage. I'm going to do eighty eight miles an hour. And I smack into a power line and try and go back in time. I probably should have repaired the truck, but eh, I didn't really want to detour for that. Now, all we have to do now is follow the main road. Ow. Which unfortunately means stepping over the rocks. We're gonna get pissy about it. I mean, they're the ones who decided to fall onto the road. It's not my fault that I need to be getting from point A to point B and they just so happen to be in between. They should know better. under the power line or the pipeline which I, you know whatever it is probably pipeline is more accurate all right let's blind the rocks they don't need to see anyways cargo management here we go you're really making a name for yourself around here, driver. I don't know why you would say it like that, but okay. I feel safer just knowing you're in town. I don't think you should. I am just a crazy furry, after all. The hell a furry? Never you mind. Anyways, thanks for the money. Although, this rock slide didn't really need to be removed because... Uh... If you're skilled enough, you can technically go around the rock slide this way. And, uh, basically avoid that whole endeavor with the rocks. But obviously if you're going to be bringing, like, a big truck, like a super big truck, then you're definitely going to need to clear those rocks out. Alright, well, we did quite a bit in terms of clearing up the roads, but I think we should do one more objective. And I think that objective should be 
the drowned hummer because that'll give us a free truck there's actually quite a few missions that give us free trucks uh, let's just go ahead and accept all of these I'll read them later Blackbird, find a barrel. Alright, so we got all the uh, main missions that we can currently do accepted. Alright, so Drowned Hummer. Yeah. Delivered a parking and it rewards us with the, uh, the Hummer H2. A trademark copyrighted, not sponsored truck that also was uh, kind of overly hyped and is a uh, kind of underwhelming but we'll see so start tracking we do have some of its upgrades so what we need to do is we need to kind of go through here around this area up this way we might actually be able to cut through the trees here Make our way down to the Hummer. And then basically do the reverse to get it out. I want to find a truck that has a tow bed, though. Got to readjust my seat. There we go. We are going to need to delete the trailer that we currently have, though, because... Uh, it's kind of being a pain in that it's uh, existing we don't want it to exist anymore it doesn't need to she has done her job and she did it well oh nice moon Let's see. Obviously, the ink's not going to be the one. We could use the Dan or the, uh, the eight five, uh, the eight one five seven plus. Gigantamax would be a little overkill. Uh, maybe the Nemesis. Now, the Elongated Wolf. Because I know the Elongated Wolf has a frame on. There it is. The uh, Articulated Towing Platform. Which is perfect for this job. Alright, let's back this up to the armor. Because I know we're going to need to do this. Oh. Thought I had it in reverse. And there's the Hummer that's just kind of in the lake. Uh, can we get a little closer, actually? I mean, probably could, considering that the Hummer's not in the lake that deep, and we got a big truck. So, if the Hummer's not too deep into the lake, we can absolutely dip our paws into there and not have problems. So, first things first, we're going to change the suspension. Because, obviously, packing the vehicle is going to put weight into the truck. Using this thing facing the right side is always awkward. Bloop. Sorry, Hummer. 
and drop the rear board. I probably can't change that truck. No, I can't. So I have to do this more or less the legitimate way. So we need to attach this winch. back of that we need to control it to adjust it there we go and then just pull it and now we need to readjust again Center that. Might actually need to move it again because for some reason the Hummer decided that it wanted to, uh, to go the other way. Uh, there we go. That, that's good. No, the Hummer! I didn't mean to disconnect Freck. Now we gotta do this all over again. There. Now what I was trying to do, I, what I was trying to do was I was trying to get out of the menu to to winch that thing up so I can go to the controller there you go let's close the rear board now we can detach pack the truck and make our way to the uh, to the garage because that's where we need to drop this thing off oh guess I should read the mission statement before we do anything else Mark Pearson the owner of a local factory has gone and lost his car again that sounds very irresponsible of him this dude is the owner of a local factory and he can't keep track of his own trucks. He's just gonna have to stick to Uber from now on. His helmet fell down from a bridge due to driver error. See if you can find the car and take it to a nearby parking lot. What if I don't want to? Whoa. Uh, yeah. There we go. But uh, I actually need to edit my recording real quick, just so that way it's not going to get lost. Alright, everything's good. Yep. Still got that problem with PlayStation. That is unfortunately the big issue when recording on the console. Can't record more than an hour. Which is weird because I can turn it off and then turn it back on. You know, I can do the uh, the caveman strat of fixing my electronics. And it doesn't have a problem with that. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is when it comes to not being able to record more than an hour of footage at any, you know, at any given time. But that's why I have my editor to do their crazy magic skills in compiling all of the recordings that I got into much longer videos because, you know, I decided for no dumb reason on this channel to make playthroughs. But at the same time, you know, I don't really like the idea of doing quick one-off 10 minute, like, top 10 list stuff. 
There's like hundreds of other channels that can do that. I don't need to be the, another one of those. And you know, the same argument can be said for playthrough channels. But, uh, yeah, I wanna go this way. But each playthrough channel has its own niche and gimmicks and also it's selected uh, games that it wants to play. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm going the right way. Weird. Well, that's just uh, basically YouTube in a nutshell. We got some variety of videos from a variety of different people. And I just so happen to be the furry that likes to do hour long videos of driving through snow and getting pissed off that I can't get through the snow because my truck just doesn't have the power or the grip. And then also yelling at rocks for when I try to go 100 miles an hour. What are you doing back there, Hummer? Yeah. I mean, you are a Hummer. That's kind of a given. Man, I have destroyed this road. It is hard to get through here now. That is super muddy. to the garage. I was going to say, are we uh, going to complete the mission or what? Mark is very grateful. He'd appreciate it if you kept tales of the lost Homer to yourself. Why is my truck turning? In the cutscene. I didn't ask for it to do that. Okay. Yeah. Keep tales of the lost Homer to yourself. Here's your reward. Oh, so basically he wants the lost Hummer to be a lost Hummer. Boy, that's not good for either your taxes or for, you know, your insurance. If they learn that you've lost yet another vehicle, they ain't gonna cover you anymore. Like, losing one vehicle, they might go, hmm, well, I mean... Yeah, you lost one vehicle, but, you know, at that point, we'll just raise your rate a little bit because we're not going to be supplying you the money to get another one. But if you lose a second one after that, no, they definitely are going to drop you. There is a uh, no if ands or buts about that. I love that I can drop the, uh, the boards on this thing. You know, let's pack that, control these, so that way we can... Oh. I don't know why, I just kind of want to drop it into the zone. Just for the fun of it. Open the rear board. Unpack the cargo. Perfect. Right into the entrance zone. Whoa. Oh no, the rear board! It's stuck! Well, now it looks like it's broken. There we go, fixed it. Fantastic. What an amazing piece of machinery. Back it up. Excuse me, Hummer. Move to garage. I mean, we'll go ahead and grab the Hummer. Oh, it even has 
A full tank of gas? Why would it have a full tank of gas? That sounds pretty good. Alright. What kind of upgrades can we give her? We can do the, uh, the 8V6.2T military grade engine designed for uh, ultimate power output. Okay. Let's sell the others. We got freeway, snow runner. Uh, yeah, freeway. High range gearbox. Race suspension, absolutely. Highway tires. Very interesting. So only the Jats have bigger tires in highway. I mean, obviously we're not going to be using that for this playthrough, but still. That's pretty, uh, pretty surprising. Hummer tires, they're kind of good in mud, so they say, but 1.2 is not good in my opinion. That is terrible. Is there any actual good tires? Those are all off-roads, which look pretty cool, actually. They're not good in mud, but they look cool. Oh my gosh, those were the... The mud tires that she was stuck with. They were 1.6 in mud. They're garbage. I kind of like the MS3s for the chats. Unfortunately, we can't really use the chain tires for the scouts. Chain tires are basically useless. So, MS3s. That should be good. Delete the Hummers. Autonomous, always. Uh, engageable diff lock. Ooh. So we have the regular spare wheel, which is just one spare wheel. And then we have the AGL spare wheel, which does a thousand repair points, 10 spare wheels. Not sure how you managed to get 10 wheels into the back of a Hummer, but okay. And a fuel tank with 265 fuel. I think I'd rather just go with that because, you know, I don't like the idea of just having one spare tire and no extra fuel on this thing. All snorkel, frame add-ons. Ooh, we have more add-ons. 50 spare wheels? Man. Freaking angry ginger life is a crazy person. 50 spare wheels. Like, I can't fathom how freaking heavy that must be. And for, you know, this one Hummer to be able to carry all that weight. You're insane. Oh, we also have the trunk repairs that removes the tire. Uh. Now, nah, I like the aesthetic of the tire. That is a lot of repair points, though, when it comes to the roof rack. I don't think we'll need it, because we already have the HEL... Uh, spare wheel, which gives us more than enough in terms of repair points. And guess what, what was it? Like 10 tires? Yeah, 10 tires. Yeah, this thing was, you know, this thing will just go on forever. I was going to say this thing was uh, basically designed to forever trek on. 
I like the taillight protector. That's pretty cool. Uh, fog lights. Nah, I'm not gonna go with those. Ooh, hood protector. Fancy. Let's do that. I do kind of like the, uh, the winch pipes, though. I might actually go with that instead. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that instead. It's a little bit more sleek. More form-fitting. Ooh. Bed cover. That actually is pretty cool, too. Angled sun visor. Let's go with the bed cover. A single tall beacon, huh? Sure, why not? It's uh, unique to the Hummer. We might as well. As far as I'm concerned, anyways. Uh, MS Room 2. Those look nice. Hmm. What colors can we give the Hummer? The Hummer doesn't... Ooh. I was going to say it doesn't have any special color coordination, but... Yeah. The magic of modding. And having the ability to uh, add more paint jobs where cars should not have paint jobs. Not really sure what color I want to make it, though. Not really anything popping out at the moment. Black and white's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not really too concerned about any of these. Although this uh, this triple blue, it's kind of nice. It's like three different shades of ocean blue. I'm going to go with this one with the uh, the lighter trim. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, we did remove the scanner. Although I should be able to get that back. I removed it for... Uh, for memory reasons, but I think... With the way that I've assigned the mods, I should still have room to be able to add the scanner back. So, we're not going to add cup because uh, the scouts kind of need the scanner when they're traversing the area. I'm not going to worry about Jeebus. So, let's see. Wyvern, that is a tiny dragon. And you probably won't even see it because of the uh, the grill cover that we got going on here. The grill protector. Freck, it's so tiny. Little tiny baby dragon. Alright. Uh, we won't need her now, so we'll just go ahead and store her. Although I kind of want to keep her out for the... Uh, the scanner mod. When we get back to using that. So let's get the other wolf out here. Since she's also got chain tires. Anything else? Mm. My gosh. The 714 WME is so big. Yeah, we're just going to leave her there because, you know, I like to admire her. The biggest sister is the prettiest sister. My gosh. I want a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's put Wolf over here. <laughs> Freaking the 714 makes the original Western Star... 
look like a regular pickup truck. That is hilarious. I love it. All right. Well, with that being said, that'll be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Take care. And we'll see you in the next session. Not exactly sure what I want to do. But there is a lot of cargo kind of scattered about. Probably should think about cleaning that junk up.